minimum wage, I'll take it. The problem is, we don't control the jobs in our community. We don't control the economics in our community. Therefore, we cannot stop the black man. Come on now. Number four, and, and I know a, just a little bit about the education thing. So many people want to connect us, I'm talking about black people, to the U.S. Department of Education. Come on now. Dr. King said in his later years, he said, you know, I worry. And they said, well, Dr. King, yes, said, you've been working for integration for all these years, and you've been working for the, uh, you know, bringing us together with uh, white people and making it. He said, but I worry. He said, I worry that we are integrating into a burning building. No. <laughs> That's what Dr. King said. Yes. 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 For real. And so I worry. You guys, we guys, we say we want our children to go to these schools. Oh my God. Oh. We said, and we want our children to get the same education their children get. Oh my God. No, you don't. No, you don't. The education system in America is in trouble. Who's the, who's the, uh, the uh, U.S.? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're in trouble. Yeah. And if you're telling me that you want your child to be educated by the U.S. Department of Education, and you are telling me that you want your child to be educated by the U.S. Department of Education, or the Illinois, or the Chicago Public Schools, then you deserve what you get. We have got to take control That's right. of the education of our children. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and, and Dr. Frazier, Dr. Frazier, there are some of us that are doing it. And, and all of us have to do it, but there are some of us that are doing it. So we've done something at Black Side. We created our own Saturday school system. So we, we run our own Saturday We run it. And so the first thing people said, they said, and now I don't know why, they said, who gave you permission? Now, do I look like the kind of guy who asks for permission? <laughs> what, what is it about me that says that I ask for permission? I don't ask nobody to train the time. I don't ask for permission to teach black kids. No, right. right. <laughs> and so we've got 15 Saturday schools, West Side. South side, South right. suburb, <laughs> West suburb. We're, we're, we're doing it, and we don't ask nobody. That's right. We will educate our children to our standards That's right. with That's our right. curriculum. That's right. That's right. So let me tell you what we're teaching our children: mm -hmm. reading, writing, and arithmetic. No, I'm not interested in reading, writing, and arithmetic. I'm interested in teaching black children how to love each other. Yeah. 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 Black children, how to love each other, and that's not really a school I'm interested in. I'm interested in teaching black children how to become institution builders, how to build strong, viable institutions, corporal institutions. Hey, how you doing? I am sorry to hold you on there so long. Uh, they, they don't really understand the power of the technology. I'm not interested in that. That's right. That's right. And, and so, educationally, we cannot simply only send our kids to their school. It hasn't worked. It won't okay. work. Okay, uh, do, uh, we, we need to join back up again, right? Spirituality. I believe in spirituality, but yeah, uh, let, that, let me, let me I bring it back on. Hold on. And we've got to make sure. I'm not saying church. I'm not saying that everybody go to church. Right. I'm saying that we've got to teach our children their connectivity to the rest of the world, to the rest of the universe, to each other, spiritually. And so, there's a guy. His name was Nehemiah. And Nehemiah saw that the walls of his community have been burnt down. The gates I just have been burnt down. The walls uh, to the one that we were on. And so Nehemiah went to the king and he said, King, I need your permission. Uh, I'm not in a position. I need your permission yeah, give me a second. to rebuild I'm actually holding the camera my community. I'm talking to you. 
And so the king said, you have my permission. I don't even know if you needed my permission, but you had it. And so Nehemiah went to the he went to the community uh, of uh, uh, Madison and Pulaski. He went to the community of 63rd and Cottage Grove. He went to the community of, of 79th and Halsted. He surveyed the community. And he saw, riding by himself, that indeed the gates had been burnt down and that the walls had crumbled. So the first thing that Nehemiah did is say that in order for me to rebuild the walls of my community, I gotta organize the people. It always starts with organizing the people. That's right, now, that's right. Don't misunderstand me. I am absolutely not saying that everybody gotta be alike. That we all have to think the same thing. Just a small mess. There's a 5% rule. You can just get 5% people thinking a certain way. And so Nehemiah started to organize the people. And he got his 5%. And he told them, it's asking to invite other people what you're doing. That's right. Now, anytime someone comes out with a pronouncement like that, anytime someone comes out with a challenge like that, here comes the hate. Now would not be the time to do that, but Who does he think actually, he I, can, is? I can see the system, you know, what we need to don't do. Don't you know he's never so, going to uh, be able to rebuild the walls of this community? Uh, Justin is eating you know right now with the parents. That, that if he's going to try, he's going to fail. Pardon me? But that didn't stop me. Oh, Nehemiah started rebuilding okay, the walls. Okay, well, so what are you going to do now? And then others came out and they started rebuilding Okay, so are, are we going to just uh, leave it? Leave it he knows Nehemiah, he, he, he had a way of doing this. He understood. Pardon me, Wanda? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so we have to yeah, Pierre Clark is showing it. But number two, we're going to have to protect the law. He had a spear. <laughs> and so by day, he was a workman. He was a construction worker. And he built the wall. And by night, he was a watchman. He was a I actually think we can't do this now because uh, now it's not the time to do this. This has to be done tomorrow. And so he so, did the work. Uh -huh. And the people with them Wanda, did I, the work. I, this is, you know, and you're part of this, and it's just so awesome, really. Uh, even though they, they, have, they don't really understand the power of it, before the night's over, they are. Now, that did a lot. That did something. Number one, it made the people go, wow, okay. look Thank at you, what Wanda. we've done. Look at what we've done. But more importantly, it made their enemies afraid. Mm -hmm. Did you see what the people did? Mm -hmm. We were trying to beat them down. And regardless, where they built themselves. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's a jewelry area, yeah. I think that's, and so, that's so I want to leave you with a little something that I do for my people. Uh, it, it, it articulates basically where we've come from, but also yeah. where we have to go. That whole area to know something that we call educate or die. Educate or die. Mm. 500 years ago, my people made the trip from the shores of Mother Africa, my people that was ripped, separated from their families, forced across the seas, dying from hunger, lash up the whip of most of all disease. We died by tens of millions so that others were sure to thrive. We made the middle passage where only the strong survived. Because our bodies were strong, now the people wanted to get paid because our skin was black. They made us into slaves. For 350 years, my people worked for free, building this great country so that others could be wealthy. Wherever you stand in this country is related to my ancestors' blood. Now we can't get no help through the New Orleans flood. My people, my people, I tell you no lie. We only got two choices in this world. We will either educate 
or we will die. Yeah, my spirit remembers crimes against my people for which they don't repent. And all the work my ancestors did for free and I, I can't pay the rent. And even with all this pain and suffering, I ain't mad. Just don't tell me that every young black boy is bad. That's right. Come on now. Our children go to schools where they don't learn how to read. And jobs, they don't hire my people because they say they ain't got the need. My thugs on the corner selling that blow weed and crack. My sister's having babies. They don't know if the damn daddy is Joe, John, or Jack. We are in trouble. And it ain't hard to see as I walk around my neighborhood watching crackheads peek. We are in trouble. Yes. And unless we make a change, ain't going to be no more good black people. And we will be blamed. My people, my people, I tell you no lie. We only got two choices in this world. We will either educate or we will die. So today's the time for us to start to make that move. Like Moses did in the Bible, we better get in that groove. God ain't playing with us this time. He will wipe us off this earth unless we value his word and we put his will first. That's right. It's time Amen. for a change. That's right. Wisdom and knowledge is a key. Forget all them bad habits we done picked up on B. E-T. <laughs> and go back to school this year. And let's make education job one. And if we just study a little bit, we will find that education is fun. And so as I look out onto you, my vision, it becomes clear. I see future doctors, lawyers, bankers. I see an engineer. And so when you go to school this year, remember, it's not just for you. It's for your children. It's for your grandchildren. That's right. But it's for your ancestors, too. My people, my people, much love. But I tell you no lie. We only got two choices in this world. We will either educate or we will die. Yes. Thank you. Right. That's right. And that's what we needed. We appreciate that. Before we continue on.